Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a to scale example of resolution and the size of your images and all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of people say, oh I need more resolution, I need a bigger file format for all that kind of stuff. For me, I don't. I'm shooting with a 12 megapixel camera just now and uh, for all the weddings that I do and all the kind of portraits and all that kind of stuff, I've never been asked or anyone's, no one's ever said you need more resolution. But let's just have a little look at the size of resolution that you can actually get. Because what you've always got to remember is with TV just now, you can get huge televisions, but their resolution is nothing compared to what you can get from a camera. So here I'll show you, if you look at this, what we're seeing here just now is 848 by 480. This is what you get if you're doing super slow motion with the GoPro. This is their smallest resolution that you can get. It can do 120 frames a second. Uh, this is the kind of panoramic version. It's, this is almost about the size of what you'd get on a normal standard size television. Um, television usually talks in lines rather than in actual proper dimensions like that. Um, but I would say that this is roughly as close to what you'd get in a normal old school television. Okay, so if we were to bring in the first type of HDTV, what we get is 720. Now this is if you're downloading or you're watching any HDTV, it usually comes in at 720p resolution. So if we look at the size of that compared to a standard TV, you can see it is a good bit chunkier on uh, it all around. You can see there's a lot more information squeezed into the same space. Now if you're getting a DVD, HD, an HD DVD, that's always at 1080p. Now if we look at the size of that compared to the 720 and the kind of standard definition here, you can see it's a big chunk bigger again. So this is 1080 by 1920 and it's pretty big. And let's just see if we can put the, the background stuff back in again. And you can see that is huge. Yeah, I think this has at least four times the amount of information that you get in normal HD. However, what we've also got here is on my Mac, my Mac sh records or is a screen which is bigger than normal HD or full HD uh, and it works at, at 2560 by 1400. So effectively what I can get, I can get four 720 videos on my screen at any one time. And it's very, very big. So that's bigger than what you'd get from any DVD. So that's like the future technology. So then, that's just giving us an idea of the scales. Let's think about if you're looking at photos. Now, what we've also got to remember is that this stuff, you can have it on a 60 inch television. You know, that is huge and people will still go, that's great resolution. So this is just, you know, 1080p. Let's look at an old camera I had, which was the Nikon D80. And here's a photo, which is an, a 10 megapixel image. So what I've done is I've squeezed this down so it's the same size as the screen as my Mac just now. And what we'll do is we'll squeeze all the other stuff so it's down to the right size. And you'll see that's a big difference. So a 10 megapixel image is huge. I then upgraded to the Nikon D300 and the D700, which is a 12 megapixel. People might think, oh, that's a 20% increase. And in total, that may be a 20% increase in total pixels. However, in resolution, it actually works up to 6%. Resolution is usually done by a single line here. Um, so when I am compressing it, I'm compressing all the files from 66% down to 60% and that's how I get that extra bit of resolution from a 12 megapixel camera. If you're wanting to go big file, the, the next kind of cheapest option that you can get, I'm using the Canon 5D Mark II and that is giving me a 21 megapixel image here. So if I squeeze that one down and I squeeze all the stuff down to the same size, that's the difference. That camera or that picture is the largest I've ever had with a camera which, I've, which I own. However, the biggest image I've ever taken is with a Hasselblad. The camera I used there was the H4D, and that was a 50 megapixel image. So here we've got it just behind our uh, 21 megapixel image. Let's squeeze it all down so we can kind of get the idea of the scale. And what I'll do is I'll put up in the corner just now, you'll see the video of uh, the original TV size. So if you look at that, compared to a 50 megapixel image, and even all the way down to, you know, we've got 720 down in the very corner, uh, all the way up to, you know, my uh, 720, 1080, uh, max screen resolution, 10 megapixel, 12, 21, and then 50. There you go. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.